Nate Story here with Riot Agritech, and today uh, we're going to do a video introducing the subject of plant nutrients and aquaponic systems. Plant nutrients are kind of funny things. Everyone operates an aquaponic system or grows in a garden or does something interacting with plants on a regular basis, but few people understand really what plant nutrients are, why plants need certain nutrients, and uh, they don't always know how to recognize when those, those nutrients aren't there or when they're deficient, or uh, they don't understand how to get them into their soil or, in or into their aquaponic system, essentially to, to uh, supplement them for their plants. So um, today, we're going to start talking about the subject of plant nutrients. What are they? Um, why do they exist some places and, and not in others? And how do we manage them in the context of aquaponic systems? So when people talk about plant nutrients, they're usually discussing about 16 elements, okay? And uh, three of them are non-mineral, and about 13 of them are mineral plant nutrients. So when we're talking about non-mineral plant nutrients, specifically what we're discussing is oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon, okay? These are the three, everything, on, everything in the world is carbon-based, okay? We're all composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, fundamentally, primarily. So uh, this is true in plants too. And these, are, these nutrients here are nutrients that aren't typically supplemented by the farmer, unless you're doing something like CO2 enrichment, which is you know burning natural gas or something like that to put CO2 in your greenhouse so that your plants can uh, grow faster and be more efficient, essentially. Or uh, oxygen and hydrogen, we supplement that in the form of water. But people don't usually think of these non-mineral elements as being something that we can uh, put in the system to help our plants grow better. Now these are non-mineral nutrients. Okay, the rest of our nutrients are mineral nutrients. Okay, now when we talk about mineral nutrients, we're talking about uh, several different categories. Okay, we have primary nutrients, we have secondary plant nutrients, and then we have micronutrients. These primary plant nutrients are composed of nitrogen, uh, potassium, and phosphorus. So nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And the, this is the rating that you typically see on the labels of fertilizers, this MPK rating. They tell you what the content of the fertilizer is for nitrogen, for uh, phosphorus, and for potassium. And these are the, um, the symbols for these nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, okay? The secondary uh, plant nutrients are calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. Now, these are the, these, uh, these are the plant nutrients that the plants require the most of, these primary plant nutrients. But these secondary plant nutrients are not too far behind. So these are important nutrients in aquaponic systems. Now, if you know very much about aquaponic systems, you know that the problem elements in these systems, if iron is being dosed correctly, are typically potassium, calcium, and magnesium. These three elements interact very strangely with each other, and they can actually impact the availability of the other nutrients in this little group. So um, as we delve into the issue of nutrients, I'm going to talk a lot about these three elements. Primarily because these are the three hardest elements to manage in an aquaponic system. After these primary and secondary nutrients are, are discussed, we're going to discuss a little bit about micronutrients. Now the most famous micronutrient in aquaponic systems is iron. Iron causes a lot of problems for a lot of different people. And if you've looked at our um, iron video, we kind of talk about that a little bit, how to supplement iron in your system and how to make sure that your plants have a lot of iron available to them. Because that's the biggie. Iron is often present in these systems, but it's not always available. Other micronutrients include copper, zinc, manganese, boron, I think it's BO. No, it's not B.O., just B. And molybdenum. 
and uh, most recently, chloride. If you can read my handwriting there. So we're going to discuss um, these micronutrients as well as we kind of get into this subject of plant nutrients. And uh, hopefully at the end of this series you're going to have a very good idea of how nutrients work. So the next post is going to basically be um, kind of going over the general terminology that we need to understand before we can talk about these and before we can talk about supplementing them. Um, because unless we understand how precipitation reactions work and kind of just general, um, general chemistry, we can't really start to talk about these plant nutrients and how to make them more available to our plants. So that's the introduction there to plant nutrients. Stay tuned, we're gonna do a, a nice long series on these because we've recognized that there just isn't very much good information out there on this subject. So stay tuned, uh, tune back in for videos later on and uh, if these videos are useful to you, please subscribe to our channel.